So now SR flip flops. Uh, there are basically two kinds of SR flip flops. First, we will be doing the NAR based SR flip flop. Um, some common things about all SR flip flops are that um, they are used to store a single bit. Uh, which is binary, either 1 or 0. Um, in SNR, the S stands for set. The R stands for reset. Okay, um, back to the original value, uh, this is to 1, set to 1, and this is uh, to the original value. Um, I will explain what it means, uh, set to 1 and original value, a little bit later. C is clear, which is back to 0. Now, SR flip-flops uh, have two structures. They are either made from NAND gates or non NAND gates. NOR or NAND. Made from either. So, this is the NOR-based SR flip-flop. Make sure to have a good look at it. This is R, this is S, Q and Q complements. Q and Q complements are the two outputs we will have. Um, so SR based flip flops are they respond to active high inputs, which means um, which means basically one. They respond to ones. The initial. Uh, inputs, outputs from the inputs. Um, this happens because uh, basically these are intertwined. If you could, uh, it's actually pretty easy to see, right? So um, the input from here, the uh, the output over here, forms the input back over here. And that is why uh, the initial output gives you the out input. Um, obviously, Q and Q complement cannot be the same. And in NOR based SR flip flops, um, if S is changed to 1, Uh, the Q changes to 1. Right? Um, 0 and 0 make no, makes no change. Uh, what this basically means, if uh, I set the input value of S to be 1, then in that case, Q will also be 1. Right? And obviously, uh, if Q is 1, Q complement has to be 0. And now 0 and 0 will make no change. So if I already have um, 1 and 0 over here from the last stage, if my next input is 0 and 0, the Q and Q complement values will not change. Right? So now I'm going to put up the truth table for this. My way of explaining this is a little different from others, but um, just bear with me.
okay so um, I'm gonna write down the description over here this will be the state of the S flip-flop this is the state of the R flip-flop the Q and the Q complement outputs so Q complement some people write Q complement like this and some people also write it like this um, I would prefer using this one but it's up to you so in the first case when S is 1 Q will also change to 1 right so our initial S is 1 and R is all R is 0 S and R uh, S and R in SR flip flops they cannot be the same they cannot be 1 and 1 okay uh, they can be 0 and 0 but they cannot be 1 and 1 so in this case Q will turn to 1 this is because um, uh, you could think of it this way you are setting the value of Q to 1 by inputting 1 right so that is why Q becomes 1 and Q complement becomes 0 the next case um, we will use S and R to be 0 and 0 Um, S and R are 0 and 0 as I've told you last time um, having S and R as 0 and 0 will make no change to the values of Q and Q complement they will remain the same now when reset is true okay so R is 1 In this case, uh, the value of Q changes to 0. Q becomes 0. Because it resets the value, right? And that's why. So if our Q is 1, is 0, then Q complement is um, obviously 1. Because they cannot be the same. Right? And again, if we look at our S and R values, um, just setting them up to be 0 and 0 again, you will again have no change to the outputs of Q and Q complement. Now there is a special case over here. Uh, I would say an inv an invalid state, right? In S and R flip flops, both S and R cannot be one together, right? If uh, if they both are S uh, one and one, they should not be allowed because it's an invalid out. It gives you an invalid output because Q and Q complement cannot have the same values, uh, right? So the flip flop becomes unstable uh, when S is 1 and R is also 1 our flip-flop will become unstable right invalid state if you would actually uh, check this out having one and one would give you outputs of one and one but uh, we do know that Q and Q complement cannot be the same right so um, that is the reason this is an unstable state this is one of the major disadvantages of using SR flip-flops that we do have an invalid state in this right uh, which is not something we want Uh, now the next is the non-based SR flip-flop so for that um, so in non-based SR flip-flops of course we use a NAND gate instead of a NOR gate it's the exact same thing but instead of the NOR gate over here uh, we will be using a NAND gate uh, so as you realized SR NOR based SR flip flops were act of 1 so when an input of 1 was sent uh, Q would become 1 as well but NAND based flip flops are quite different because uh, they're just the exact opposite they respond to active low output inputs 
respond to active low inputs. Zero, right? So if NANB is a uh, flip flop, if S is set to zero, oh my bad. Then Q changes, then Q becomes one. S is set to zero, Q becomes one. This is in NAND based. NAND and SR flip tops are just the opposites of each other. Uh, in this case, one and one makes no change at all. Um, in in NAND based, one and one is a valid state, and um, zero and zero is unstable. truth table for the NAND based flip flop is just the exact opposite of that for the NAR based flip flop. I will actually be drawing out the, um, I hope I can draw it out pretty well, but let's go. Um, okay. See? So basically like this, the input over here will come and give us the output over here. And um, the output over here will be giving us the input over here. This will be Q complement, this will be S, and this will be R. Okay. Um, as you can see, it's oh, okay. okay I made just a little mistake over here, right? Um, let's this S and R. S stands on the top, and R stands below. Um, so I'll actually be putting notes down below in the description. Uh, you could go through that, and it's actually. Those are pretty neat notes, and I hope once you're done with this video, it'll be easy for you to go through them and understand what I'm saying over there. Uh, so let's just make the truth table for SR based flip flops now. So, description the S state, the reset state, the Q, and the Q complement states. Okay, so in the first case, we will be setting. Um, set to zero so when we set set to zero we already know what happens in this case um, q becomes one set is zero r is one right so q becomes one in this case and q complement is zero um, now when we have one and one s is one and r is also one Q and Q complement have no change in their values. When reset, uh, when Q is zero, right? Okay, my bad. When R is zero, I mean, uh, which is in this case, uh, so this circuit responds to inputs that are zeros, okay? Responds to zeros. The S, um, the one above, this would respond to one inputs as one. This responds to inputs as zero. That is why this is called an active low input circuit. So, when we input zero, uh, if R is zero in this case, the Q will also turn to zero. Again, we can take it to be one and one, right? Again, so if uh, we would get the same values. In this case, zero and zero, um, this is the invalid state. For the same reasons I mentioned before. 
Okay, guys, so that is it for SR Flip Flops. Um, if you want to understand this better and um, want to still go through it again, I will be posting the notes down below where I have explained it um, in a un- more neat manner, I would say. Alright, thank you so much. Uh, looking forward to see you next time for JK Flip Flops.